In a previous video, I did a first-hand brief unboxing of a Amscope brand stereo microscope that I bought off of Amazon India for a jaw-dropping 95% discount of the printed price on the box. In this video, I'll be covering my first-hand use experience and review of the same microscope which is a Amscope SE305R AZ E2 model stereoscopic binocular microscope. So stay tuned. Among the accessories that accompanied the microscope, we first have here the pair of 20x wide field eye pieces. They are both safely packed in tiny paper boxes with sponge cushions inside. The eye pieces are further packed in tiny Ziploc plastic bags. The eye pieces have a all metal black coated body with wide field 20x etched on top. Next we have the soft rubber eye guards for the eye pieces which also comes in a pair. Simply insert them on the upper rim of the eyepiece, like so, and you have the eye guards fixed in place. The microscope also comes with a pair of eyepiece and camera adapters. One has an outer diameter of 30mm and the other has a 30.5mm. The 30.5 adapter will be used to hold the camera in place onto the eyepiece tube, which we'll be covering a bit later. The next piece of accessory are the two stage plates. One is a glass plate with one side frosted with the other side being plain. The second plate is a plastic plate with one side coated black while the other side is white. The glass frosted plate is used when transparent specimens are to be observed. The black and white plate is used when opaque specimens are to be observed. Either sides of the plate can be used depending on whether a black or a white background is desired. The microscope also comes with a very handy piece of accessory called the focusing wrench. This tiny piece of tool is used to tighten or loosen the screw on the focusing knob when it becomes too loose and the specimen gets out of focus by itself or when the knob gets too tight and it can't be turned with ease. A pair of 12 volts 10 watts spare halogen lamps safely packed within bubble wraps in paper boxes also accompany the microscope. To protect the microscope from dust and dirt when unused, a translucent plastic dust cover also comes as an accessory along with the microscope. And finally we have as one of the most important accessories an Amscope MD200 model digital microscope camera. This particular camera is the third entry level model from the MD series of microscope cameras from Amscope and has a maximum resolution of 2 megapixels. The first and second entry level models being the MD35 with a 0.3 megapixel camera and the MD130 with a 1.3 megapixel camera. The camera is supplied with an accompanying USB-A to USB mini B cable and a software CD to be installed on your PC. The USB mini cable end is plugged into the camera while the USB-A end goes into the USB port on your PC or laptop. To use the camera, first remove one of the eyepieces from the microscope. Insert the 30.5mm camera adapter into the eyepiece tube and then insert the camera into the adapter. Once you have the software installed on your PC, which we'll be dealing with a little later in the video, the camera is ready to be used. It's as simple as that. Now coming to the microscope itself. The Amscope SE305R AZ E2 model stereo microscope comes with a white enamel coated all metal body with a heavy base and the Amscope brand logo printed on the front of the base. Like all binocular microscopes, the eyepiece distance can be easily adjusted to match the interpupillary distance of the user. To change the eyepiece magnification from a 10x to a 20x and vice versa, we simply loosen the screws that hold the eyepieces in place and are located on the lower side of the eyepiece tube. Remove the 10x eyepiece and insert the 20x. Tighten the screw back in place and there you have it. The microscope also has a pair of single coarse adjustment knobs on both sides and used to adjust the objective distance from the specimen placed on the stage so the object comes into focus. The microscope has a top and bottom halogen lamp illumination system of 10 watts each, controlled by a two-way switch. The top lamp is used when observing opaque specimens and for studying surface topography of both opaque and transparent specimens. The bottom light is used when observing transparent specimens. 
There are two objectives in this model, a 1x and a 3x magnification. Changing objectives is pretty simple. All you have to do is rotate the metal tube that hold the objective lenses until you get a click. So when used with the 10x or 20x eyepieces, the microscope is capable of providing magnifications of 10x, 20x, 30x and 60x, which is pretty much all that you need for most low magnification studies using a stereo microscope. The microscope has a circular 9.5 cm diameter stage provided with two different stage plates as mentioned previously. The stage plates are interchangeable as per one's requirement. Also included are a pair of stage clips to secure the slide or such similar objects that hold the specimen. The power plug of the microscope is a 3-pin NEMA 515P USA type plug. A suitable adapter plug will come in handy if the microscope will be used in countries outside North America. Coming now to the microscope camera. When I first started out shooting videos on reviewing the camera that came with this microscope, I made a huge careless mistake of not realizing that the transformer inside the microscope was an American standard 110 volts and that a step down transformer or such other voltage stabilizing device was required if the microscope is to be used in other countries like here in India where the standard voltage is 220 volts. So within less than 10 seconds of switching on the halogen lamp for testing the microscope camera, the transformer is totally fried. And I had to replace it with a new 220 volt transformer. Now that the electrical system of the microscope had been sort of made Indian compatible, we can now have a look at how the microscope camera performs. The Amscope MD200 camera is a pretty modest microscope camera unit. It takes 2 megapixel photos and videos of the specimen being viewed. To begin to be able to use the camera, we first need to install the software that came along with the camera. On inserting the CD in the CD drive of your laptop or PC, a pop-up screen appears. We click on Install Application. We follow the usual instructions as they would appear when installing any software and there we have it. The camera software is installed. Once the camera software has been installed, we simply click on the Amscope camera icon and we are good to go. Click on the MD200 under camera list on the left to activate the camera. So this is what the user interface for Amscope cameras in general and the MD200 camera in particular looks like. There's a whole bunch of tools on the left and top of the screen that you can use. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on the two most important tools in this camera, that is the photo capturing tool and the video recording tool. I'll be making a separate full review come tutorial video exclusively for the Amscope MD200 model microscope camera once I get to spend some time getting used to the camera and its interface. The MD200 camera, like most low budget microscope cameras, has unfortunately a sluggish response both in live and when recording videos due to the low FPS, but certain settings that albeit compromises on the image quality can be made to increase the FPS. I'll be covering this in a separate review and tutorial video. One significant disadvantage for many is that this camera produces a highly zoomed view of the subject. So this becomes a huge letdown for someone who would like to take photos or videos of the specimen in the original magnification. You might therefore want to keep this in mind if you're planning on buying a microscope camera that produces original unzoomed images or videos. To capture a photo on this camera, we simply click on Snap in the camera toolbar. The captured images are transiently saved as tabs on top of the camera screen. Each captured image can be individually saved to computer by clicking on the tab, then clicking on File on top left corner of the screen, and then clicking on Save As. We select the image format and destination folder of our choice and click on Save. simple as that. You can choose to delete one or more of the captured images by clicking on the particular image tab and clicking on close.
For video recording, we simply click on record. Choose the video format of our choice. Give a file name to the video. Choose destination folder. Select bitrate, the default being 2 megapixel. Select or deselect time limit based on how long or short we want to shoot the video. And adjust the frame rate, 1x being the normal speed. Once all this is done, we click on finish and as the pop-up window disappears, we now see the video record icon in red, which means it's recording. Once we've recorded the desired length of the video, we click on the red record icon again to stop recording. We go to the destination folder in which we've saved the video file in order to access and view the video. Video recording feature is as simple and user friendly too. One can also increase the field of view from the default 60% to a larger 100%. Better still, you can even bring the entire field of view to a full screen mode by clicking on View and then Full Screen. This feature would be great for lab demos and classroom presentations. I'll be covering the entire features of this particular camera in detail in a separate review come tutorial video as mentioned previously. You can click on the link to that video in the description below or the end screen card at the end of this video. So this is all about the review and tutorial of my recently bought Amoscope Stereo Microscope that I bought from Amazon India at a 95% discount. In case you haven't watched my unboxing video, do click on the link in the description below or the end screen video card at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.